springtail culture for any of you that keep reptiles and tarantulas with a damp substrate you know that sometimes the mold builds up sometimes when there's leftover food in the enclosure you know that can they can get messy and grow mold and stuff like that so with the springtails they make a good cleanup crew and they'll go around and they'll eat any of the mold they'll eat the leftover insects that you know your tarantula or your reptiles didn't eat and they'll take care of that and they'll make sure that uh the enclosure stays nice and clean for the most part. So basically what you need is a small container, some filtered water, some charcoal. Usually you want to stay away from the charcoal briquettes, but this charcoal is 100% natural. There's no additives, no chemicals, no nothing like that. So these we're going to try and see what happens with that. You also need I'm going to try the cricket calcium diet, sprinkle some of that to feed the springtails, and some grains of rice. So we're going to open up this container. I'm going to stick some of the charcoal in there. pieces up and you got your charcoal in there a little bit messy and then what you want to do is you want to take your filtered water it's always recommended that you use distilled or filtered water and what you want to do is you want to take it and fill it up anywhere from like a half inch to an inch in here so we're going to go with that's eh, probably about a half inch close that get that out of here and then you want to take, you can use grains of rice and stick that in here to feed the springtails. They'll eat that. I'm also going to take some of this cricket food and sprinkle it. You only want to put a little bit in there, just enough to where they're going to eat it. You also need an existing springtail culture. So if you already have springtails in some of your existing enclosures and you have a water bowl in there, sometimes you'll notice that they float right on the top of the water. So you just take this, pour that in there, put your water bowl back in your tarantula enclosure or whatever you're pouring it out of. Maybe fill that water bowl. Put the lid back on that one. And it's that simple. So you got your starter culture for your springtails and they breed pretty quick so within the next month you should be able to go in there grab springtails put them in your other enclosures and they'll just keep repopulating just keep them fed make sure every day every other day you just take the lid off let some clean air flow in there and that's about that so we're going to try that with these charcoal briquettes instead of the regular lump charcoal and see how that works and we'll check back in in like three weeks to a month and see what our springtail culture has turned into.
Let me get you a little close up in here. All right, so this is what the inside of this culture is going to look like. You see, you got the cricket food, you got all the springtails in there, you got a couple pieces of rice for them to eat. You can see the springtails. I'll move it around in there. Excuse my shaky hands. But you can see them all moving around in there. And uh, we'll let this sit. And hopefully when we check it again, there will be an abundance of springtails for all our enclosures. And then it's an easy way to reproduce springtails without having to buy more. We're also going to get some isopods from the isopod company and start doing those as well. So when they come in, when I get them from the isopod company, we'll do a video on that as well. So a quick little DIY, nice and simple, another cheap little experiment for your own doing. But, till next time, see ya.